Hello everybody and welcome back to MDTV. Um, this is an opportune moment because we just had our weekly delivery in from uh, Rascal Mobility, well, which is actually Electric Mobility Euro, there, but uh, Rascal obviously is a name that you know everybody sort of knows quite well. The reason for this video is to ask the question, you know, are lithium batteries safe? Now what people don't realise is there's quite a lot of lithium batteries on the marketplace. Um, and there is a little bit of press at the moment on the BBC and various other places about lithium batteries being being dangerous. On the cheaper products that you get, like the kiddies little, you know, these little scooters you see them zipping along the streets on and this sort of thing. Yeah, they can be a little bit, uh, they can be a little bit iffy. Um, and the thing is with lithium iron batteries is that they actually do have cobalt in them and various other things. Um, and if they do set on fire you can actually get what they call thermal runaway now thermal runaway is because lithium ion with the cobalt in can create the gas well not can it does create the gas and if it sets on fire the gas keeps reigniting the fire so you know just not a good thing all around but please remember that there are other lithium batteries actually on the market that are much much safer um, even the lithium ion batteries if they're a decent priced product rather than the cheaper ones, they do have a, a microchip inside them, which actually is a, a charging management system. And if you have the charging management system in, that's the probably the, the, the worst time where a, they want these batteries could set on fire because they're basically getting a charge in and they've already got energy inside them. If they have a management system, it's thermal, it's thermally, it, it'll actually stop charging before it sets on fire when it gets too warm. The thing, to take this a stage further though, our friends from Electro Mobility, Stroke Rascal, have actually said, you know, we're gonna go even safer than this. We're gonna use a different type of battery. It is a lithium battery. It's, I'm gonna show you the sheet in a minute. It's actually a lithium ferrophosphate, which is a LIFEPO4 battery. What that means is, it doesn't have any cobalt in it. Now, as we all know, cobalt comes from either Russia or the Congo, and the people who are actually mining the coal book, the conditions aren't great and you know, a lot of them are getting very poorly very quickly. So with that in mind, you know, a ferrophosphate battery, which doesn't have any lithium, uh, doesn't have any coal book in it at all, you know, is a really nice thing to have. But other than the fact is, if it, if it actually is involved in a fire, it actually hasn't set on fire itself. You know, there is a fire within somebody's property, house, factory, wherever. These batteries, they're just going to a, a big block of plastic that's, you know, the outside of the battery and, and do nothing. They don't burn very well at all, to be honest. So sometimes when th situations like this come around, you end up with something that's not as good as the original thing. These are actually better. Let me just come forward and show you this chart. If you go onto this chart, you'll see here it's a lithium ferrophosphate battery, and along here you've got a scale, which is your residual, which is your capacities. I'm not going to go into too much detail about this because it can get a little bit complicated. But if you actually have a sealed lead acid battery, you're going to get around about 300 charges out of it. Yeah, which actually, okay, you, yeah, it's one of those things where 300 charges, you know, you're charging it once a week, so you know, something like that. You know, they do last quite some time. Your typical lithium iron battery you get 600 charges out of it right across here 1200 plus charges out of a lithium ferrophosphate battery so we really really think that they're actually onto something here to show you how confident they are two-year warranty uh, you can have that in writing it's not a problem the only thing that you must remember is like any other battery you must keep it charged up you know if you don't look after your battery it's, it could last three months six months nine months twelve months but you have to keep them charged up and now as long as you do that we can do that it's not a problem two years warranty um but please do keep them charged up we do have testers we can check see how many times these things have been charged so to answer your question are lithium batteries safe? If you buy the right one, if you buy the right quantity, quality, and they're from a company where you know that you're going to get looked after, 99.9% .9 of the time, you're not going to have a problem. Um, and at the end of the day, pioneering this at the moment in the mobility section, 
is our friends from Rascal Stroke Electric Mobility. So I hope this has made sense. As you can see, I've got a lot of unpacking to do, you know, but we get a delivery like this you know, probably every week now. Um, so therefore, we shall see you in the future. Any questions on this, please do ring ask. Uh, please do send us an email or whatever. Um, we'll do our best to answer the questions. If we can't answer your questions because it's starting to become a little bit too detailed, a little bit too questionable, we will actually put you in touch with the people who know. Thanks for your time and we'll see you soon.